<clears throat> Whatever comes out. Yeah. All right, I'll do the best I can with it. I was born in 1947 in Glendale, California, into a fairly normal American family. Uh, I was delighted to be introduced to this piece. I was familiar with John Robbins from a book of daily meditations he wrote, and getting to dive into his life history, his story is fascinating. And it's one that you you don't hear about often. And I think I would love to hear about more and his just true intentionality in morality and, and trying to live with purpose and clarity and love. And that came through in all of this. I, I was amazed by how openly he spoke and shared about his life. And I thought the reenactments were lovely. They weren't overblown, but they just kind of seeped in like memories um, that he could just talk over. They didn't take away from his story. They only added that that extra layer where it felt like an empathetic reliving of it for the audience. Um, I thought this was extremely well-crafted. The message was crystal clear and it is something I'm definitely going to send to to friends before they embark on reading some of his stuff, including a diet for a new America. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was, was brilliantly done and just so openly dove into a story that um, I think people can gain a lot from, especially in our consumer obsessed climate. I wasn't expecting it. I, especially with the title, I think it was uh, really interesting. And it, it talked about a lot. Not only did it talk about like the, the founding of Baskin Robbins and the son of one of the founders, but you also talk about like um, the environment and environmental wellness with a business, a, especially a food business and then health. And then there, there was just so much that it covered. Um, it, it rounded a lot of different bases. Um, and the jump between the two, the, the, the many different things wasn't too insane to where I was like, why are we talking about this? Like there, there was still a through line there. So I appreciate that. Um, I think it was really informative. I think it was really interesting. It's definitely a very interesting subject matter. Anytime you bring in such a large brand, um, I think there's, there's so much to be questioned and asked about in that. And it made it really interesting to watch. Um, super informative. You fall in love with the sun fall in love you you become entertained with the story and and want to know more and overall it just was a really fun and interesting documentary to watch it's a remarkable thing that john robbins wasn't full of hate for the betrayal of the love of the father he seems to credit his wife with the contentment and the love he grew with her in his early years of his 20s those formative years still um for young people becoming fully adult. There wasn't a lot of talk of attachment with his mother, so you just really think that this wife was an incredible woman too. He's never quit researching or educating himself, and I know he's got his master's and written so much. He's such a contributor. Uh, it was beautiful when we learned that his father was able to commend him for his self-drive and becoming independent of him. Just a terrific work. For starters, wasn't even something I thought I was interested in learning about, but just good uh, human interest stories on that level um, are always fascinating. I mean, we've all seen the Baskin Robbins, even been there several times, uh, you know, loved it as a franchise for years. Uh, so to learn a little bit about this backstory, which is completely uh, fascinating and compelling for me, uh, just certain little things like I didn't realize that the 31 flavors was 30 for one for every day of the month it makes perfect sense now. Um, just love learning little uh, tidbits of trivia like that. The coin toss to decide the name Robin's Baskin just would not have worked. That's that's just a, it's astonishing to learn something like that. Um, but overall, just uh, really uh a, such an interesting uh, life uh, uh, for this uh, individual. The just everything from, from the book to the, the cardiologist handing uh, his father his book. I mean, this just makes really good drama. Uh, this is a fantastic documentary. I would watch a feature length film about the the life story here. First of all, 
the production value here, just high value throughout. So really no need to talk too much about that. I just felt like it, everything was what it needed to be. The story was in a really good order. Everything flowed really well. Camera work, uh, the different shots of John as he was talking, um, the cinematography, the lighting, just the, the sound, the music, just every component was there that needed to be there. And it kept my interest the whole way. So um, one thing I was really impressed by was John Robbins' ability to speak and engage and keep you engaged. I mean, I'm sure there were different takes that he had to do, but to me, this was sort of just so natural for him and seamless and it flowed. And the storytelling was really great. I mean, in the beginning, I was like, wow, you know, he's going through his history so fast, the history about the ice cream and his dad. And like, so where is this going? And so it, it definitely drew me in and kept me intrigued in the story about him and, you know, standing up to his father and wow, you know, at 21 years old and walking away from a billion dollar inheritance that young and knowing what he wanted within his heart and soul. Wow. That's just, I mean, obviously hearing more of his story gives me more of an idea of how he was able to do that and why. For instance, when he was talking about the cat licorice and how he was alone a lot in a big house. Um, that really brought tears to my eyes, just seeing in the lovely shots that the filmmakers created of that, of him being in his room and the actor that was in that scene with the cat and the cat was amazing in that scene. <laughs> I just thought, wow, these are some really great shots. Really makes me feel like they were there. Strength of a documentary rides and dies on the subject matter. And this is a really good subject matter as far as this guy's story is fascinating. But then also the idea of like the pitch of, oh, this, this the son of Baskin Robbins, or the son of the founder of Baskin Robbins that turned down a fortune, you know? Um, there's something there's something inherently interesting and fascinating about that that apply, uh, uh, appeals to a wide audience, almost like like Zuko leaving the Fire Nation, if that makes anybody, any sense to anybody. So yeah, that was a great hook. And then you, you keep watching and then it makes you lean in and then you keep watching and you, it gets more and more interesting and more and more fascinating. And the guy tells the story really well, I think. Um, so overall, great idea executed well. Really fascinating documentary. Um, it's really well told. Um, he's very well spoken and the story itself is really fascinating and eye opening. I think the documentary Filmmakers also did a great job in terms of the footage that they have between the interview shots. And altogether, it's it's a really, really great, fascinating, interesting documentary that um, I'd highly recommend.